Animal Crossing New Leaf has a feature that I've never been able to take advantage of before because by the time this update came out for New Leaf, I was already kind of on my like on again, off again phase with it. So the Welcome Amiibo update came and went and I never really dove in fully. And one of the things it added to Animal Crossing was the ability to not just restart the game, but restart the game by selling your entire island. What it does is it takes everything you've ever done and puts a price tag on it, an amount of bells, and says, hey, you can go ahead and sell your town to us and we'll let you keep all these bells and start over. Now, you don't get a lot of opportunities in Animal Crossing games to like play them a new way. Nintendo kind of releases them, they give you some updates, and then they abandon it. So for me, this is like the first like new Animal Crossing experience I've had since New Horizon came out. So it's not going to be too crazy different from actually playing New Leaf Normal, but I thought it'd be really interesting to start a brand new game, keep my catalog, keep a bunch of money. What would that be like? What kind of things could I do when I can just kind of focus on design and not worry so much about, you know, the grind of Animal Crossing? So with that in mind, when we go through this, uh, this will probably be like a, an ongoing series on the channel for a bit. And as we go through it, we're going to allow time skipping a little bit. I normally don't do that, but I've already played this game. I've played it through. So the time skipping is going to come in when I get to a point in the stream where we can't really do much without getting to the next day. And then I'm just going to skip to the next day. Um, that's the plan. Uh, so it's going to be really fun. I'm just kind of like sitting here watching the screen, you know, go by on, on all of my years of hard work. We're going to throw it away. But for money, when I threw away the gold core island, which was inherently worth more, literally, I didn't get anything. But now we're going to see what the island is worth otherwise. So let's go ahead and get started. And hopefully we don't screw anything up here. Christopher has been a member for six months. You've returned. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Angela has been a member for 13 months, over a year now. Hope everyone had a good week. Hope you had a good week. Thank you so much. Yes, time traveling. Um, okay, so yes, time and date look good. Shall we get started? I need help first. I can do the following tasks. We are going to recreate the town. Okay, the town be, wait, what? You can't be serious. I mean, rebuild the town. That means Vidville will be totally gone. Is that what you really want? All the bells you earned, all your furniture, it will all be lost. And those who live in the town, all gone. Dead. Deceased. <laughs> are you sure about this? This is absolutely positively what you really, really want. Wow. They're really laying it on thick. Uh, This is what I want. Understood if you feel that strongly about it. All right, I just have one more question for you. Once Vidville is deleted, are you interested in becoming mayor of a new town right away? Or were you thinking of taking a break from village life for a while? I want a new town. I'm very happy to hear that. I hope I, that I can be with some assistance as you start your new life. Now, I don't want to be too presumptuous, but there's someone I, that I think you want to see. Nine months, actually not that bad here. AJ, thank you so much. All right, she's calling in Tom Nook. We're going to get our island or town appraised. Let me guess. You're thinking about rebuilding Vidville, yes? Yes, yes. Quite understandable. Sometimes a fresh start is just what's called for. I am, I am delighted to be able to offer you a unique opportunity. I will purchase Vid Vidville from you. Tom Nook wants to save everybody from the apocalyptic disaster that is the Crossing Minute YouTube channel. I respect it. I think this arrangement would be mutually beneficial, yes? You start over with new names, new faces, and... <laughs> wait, wait, that's the lore? I'm getting like a Breaking Bad style new identity? New names, new faces, a hefty stack of bells. This is the plot of Breaking Bad. It's effectively the same as choosing the recreate town option, but only with more bells for you. What's the, who's the mark? What's going on here? Very good. I'm glad to see you're thinking with your wallet. Now, if you like, I can go ahead and give your town a thorough appraisal. That way you'll know exactly what you get if you decide to sell. And you can still change your mind if you aren't happy with the results. What do you say? Appraise it. 
Very well, I'll get started right away. Let's see what Vidville is worth, shall we? Oh, it's going to be a lot. <laughs> I love how the numbers come up. This is great. Woo, <laughs> okay. 35 million bells. Yowza. Pardon me, that was out of character. <laughs> Excuse my French. Uh, let me compose myself. Congratulations on building a rather profitable little town. Well then, indeed. He's like, I don't have this money. Now, there's a small matter of your shopping catalog. If you'd like, I'd be willing to buy your town's catalog along with the town itself. If you'd like to sell your catalog, I can add an extra 5,800... What? I'm a... I'm a multi-millionaire. I don't need that. Of course, selling your catalog means you have to start with a, a blank... Sort of a blank catalog in your new town. You'll be able to simply reorder the, all the items you had before. What'll it be? Will you be selling your catalog as well? I'm going to say don't sell catalog. Very well. Selling your town will result in a total of 35,345,979 bells at closing. Now, there's just one last thing to discuss, the small matter of your payment. You can elect to receive the proceeds as a lump sum or a series of installments. If you do a lump sum, all the money will be transferred to your ABD at once. If you'd rather receive installments, the proceeds will be divided into 100 equal payments. 100 equal payments. Okay. With your money sitting safely in escrow, you'll also receive 10% interest on the balance. So for the first 100 days of your new town, you'll receive 388,000 bells each day. Uh, that up to a total of 38 million blah, blah, blah bells when all said and done. So would you prefer a lump sum or a series of installments? Okay, now this is where you guys come in. So I want you to vote on which. I'm good with either option. I'm just going to make that clear right now. Um, it seems like if, if it's divided by a hundred, uh, let me, let me get the calculator first. So we know what we're getting here before we vote. I'm um, just opening up a calculator in the background. So I'm going to be very precise with this and type in 35,345,979 bells. We're going to divide that by 100 and we're going to get how, did you say every week? What was the, what was the installment? Cause we're getting 353,459 thousand bells or whatever um so what was the what, how, how much you can get three million more bells with installments also means you can't spend it all at once you don't trust me crampy okay every day every day why not why not take okay all right all right all right okay here's what we're gonna do um start a poll which should i choose okay we're going to do either lump sum or installments on the payments for my town. So I'm, I'm asking you guys in the poll right now here, and uh, I want to pull up. Can I pull up the poll still? Do I have that screen capture still? I don't think I have the um, screen capture anymore, for <laughs> um, unfortunately, for the uh, poll. So I can't put it on the screen. It's like 50-50 right now. Um I don't have tabs ready. I don't let people now I'm playing on a 2DS. I don't have like anything set up for tabs. So you guys got to decide. I'm not doing tabs today. I don't even have the music ready right now. Like I've been doing a lot of changes in the background. There won't be any tabs. I'm not kidding about that. So if you guys do 50 50 on me, I'm going to decide myself. <laughs> Installments are better in the long run. You get more money, and the way you play, 388k a day is more than enough. What the heck is AJ trying to say there? Installments means you get more, and it's a change. I'm I'm personally leaning towards installments. You guys are very split on this. We've gotten 63 votes. There's over 100 people here. If you have a chat up somewhere, you can pull it up. Feel free to jump on and vote, because um, just over half of you voted. I'm personally, I think the installments would be fun. And just seeing those checks come in every day is <laughs> the idea of that's very funny to me. You play correctly. What will you spend 388k a day on? Gracie furniture? <laughs> I just joined. I don't, really know what, I don't know what it means. Okay, so I'm selling my Animal Crossing New Leaf Town. And I have a choice. The, mon the number you see on the top screen, that number is the money I'm entitled to for selling the town. I'm going to start a new game, and they're going to give me that money to start the game. But they're it's they're asking me, do I want it all at once, or do I want it in installments? And installments will come in every single day, and I get interest on it, which is kind of nice. 
So because of that, I'm leaning towards installments. But the it, the poll, like, I haven't decided yet because you guys are like split so close down the middle right now. It's like keeps going back to 50-50. One pulls ahead for a second and the other. Like, <laughs> so if, if you guys can't decide, I'm not going to be doing tabs today. I will just, I'm going to pick lump, or not lump, uh, installments. Gracie's stuff is really expensive set. Yes, Gracie has like crazy expensive furniture. Like early game, uh, you don't need much money though. Installments for sure. Installments, well, gotta vote. <laughs> Installments is winning now by 52%. So I'm gonna give it just like another 30 seconds or so. And then we will uh, we'll be picking off of your poll. Installments changed my mind. <laughs> You don't get to hear this music a lot. It does have that like game show waiting for you to decide vibe to it. It's pretty good. So it looks like installments is going to win, but not by much at all. Like at all. It's 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 a fifty it's a one percent difference right now, so I am like nervous about picking installments. Awkward elevator music. Thanks, Bonnie. Installments make more sense. You gain more money. It might help with budgeting. Um, some good vibes. Having surgery in the morning to remove my appendix. Oh my gosh, time a mom. Uh, well, yes. Uh, I know you're gonna be just fine, but uh, yes, sending good vibes your way. All right, we're taking installments. I'm doing it. Congratulations. We are uh, ending the poll, and I will be taking the money in daily payments of 388000 whatever we saw the number on the calculator was. There it went. It went up. You love to see more money. All right. Very well, then. Let's go over to everything. Let's go over everything one more time. This is your last chance to back out. Will you sell your town... We use some of your town only in exchange for 100 payments of. Why do you say it like that? Will you sell me your town only in exchange for 100 payments of 388,806 bells each? And we are going to say sell. And that's that. The sale of your town is now complete. Fastest closing in the business, guaranteed. And an installment of 388,806 bells has already been wired to the ABD in your new town's post office. There it goes. You could sell your catalog to Nook as well, but I, I did not choose to do that. That's probably why I said it that way. Now, there's just one last thing. I invited an old friend to see you off as you start your new life. Oh, what? I don't want to talk to you. It's me, Rissetti. Who were you expecting? So... Old Tom Nook was just telling me you're going to be resetting your whole blasted town. Is that right? I've never gotten to see this before. This is so fun. Uh, well, I guess these things happen. I ain't going to be easy on... Uh, it ain't going to be easy, you know, starting a whole new life over. But sometimes having a second shot is just what you need so you can try things out without fear of failure. I guess what I'm saying is get out there, enjoy your new life, and try and make it a good one. Oh, yeah, and before I let you go, I'd really appreciate it if you could set up another res research surveillance center in your new town, okay? Now scram. I know, I was fully expecting to get to sell your New Horizons Island in the 2.0 update. I'm shocked. Still, I'm still shocked this was not a thing. Because this would have been perfect for New Horizons with all the decorating people love to do. But they want to start new islands constantly. Um, I'm going to change the time so it's not so blast blasted late. Blasted late's a silly thing to say. Um, I'm going to say no. What? <laughs> All right, we're going to we're going to keep it the same day. I'm just going to roll it back to like 2 54. We usually stream in the evening, so Perfect. I'm just going to plop down the seat across from you if you don't mind. I, well, I do. 
By the way, you hold on. Can I ask your name? All right, we're gonna be Dan. We get to. This is our new identity. We can change it. We now have like we're in witness protection. We have a brand new name, uh, new face, and a whole pile of money. But we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and blow our cover out of the gate. Be Dan again. What do we name the town? I didn't think of this. Um, anyone have any ideas? Are you following a face guide? No. Canyon duck? No, well, we already have a canyon duck. We gotta do better than that. Richville, space cake. I like, I let's, yeah, I like the direction of Richville. Richville is like, you know, it has that gold core vibe to it. Where we are literally like, moving to a new town because we're just uber rich windfall katie thank you that's the best no one can top windfall that is the biggest brain in in the whole chat i don't think i've heard of it well, you will. You will, Rover. All right, map, map, map. Let's take a look at the train line. Maybe it's there. Okay, we get to choose a map now. Um, I think there are four choices. I'm just observing. So I don't like this map because having that weird sliver in the north corner there, like, what are you going to do with that? Like, who, who's that for, you know? And then look at how it splits the rest of the town. Like... The the entire southern half is split in such an awkward way. Like I don't I don't like that at all. Okay, this one's a little bit better, except now the the weird slivers on the right side of the island. Um, the split down the middle is a little bit better though, a little more manageable. I'm gonna say no to that one. How many times should we reset? Uh, ooh. Okay. This one's kind of cool. So the river does not take up as much real estate. And it, I like that little section in the southern bit. I feel like I could actually do something with that. I could put my house on that kind of part in the middle where the river kind of swoops around it. So they'll have like a river running behind my house. Ooh. You guys like this one too, it seems. Okay. What are we going to say here? Because this one's cool as heck. The town hall and the plaza are in line. Oh my gosh. I didn't even see that. This is a sick map. That's where Windfall is. Uh, so, uh, do you get to go to Windfall very often? I've never... I'm going to say it's a secret because we are undercover. A secret, you say? Okay, how about telling me what you plan to do once you get to this place? Or is that a secret, too? Duh, it's a secret. Gosh, Rover. Idiot. All right, I'm sure I can guess your secret if I really try to think hard enough. Let me see. What, what an intrusive jerk. Get out of my face. Why does everyone like Rover? Could it be you're moving? I, let's be sarcastic and say pretty sharp. You're definitely a funny one, that's for sure. You oblivious... Uh, so you're moving, huh? Someone as interesting as you is certain to dig up some <laughs> fun in a new place. You don't know me. The town of Windfall is waiting for you. You're going to have such a great time there. Looks like we're about to arrive in Windfall. Thanks for chatting with me. It's been a long time since I've enjoyed a train ride this much. Come to think of it, I've been riding rails an awful... <laughs> Awful lot again lately. Haven't done this much traveling since 2002 or so. Man, it's weird. Okay, good luck, Dan. Bye bye. All right, sweet. I miss having the train in Animal Crossing. We did it. Who's our Who's our starting villagers? Who do you guys think we're going to get? All right, face isn't bad. We got to zoom in here. Hmm. 
Who do we get? Who do we get? Who do we get? Who do we get? Oh my gosh! We got Mitzi! Unbelievable! Mitzi is so underrated. We got Elmer, who I don't care about. We got Axel, who's kind of cool. Okay, everyone, here we go. Ready and from those of us in Windfall, welcome. Mary, we're so happy you're finally here. Um. Oh, you're such a kidder. Well, a sense of... Oh, I must have said something. I wasn't looking at the bottom screen. You said you would arrive on this train and here you are. I didn't say that. You can't fool me. No one else got off the train. You're a funny one, aren't you? Hey, wait. Well, let's continue this discussion at the town hall, shall we? Here's a map of Windfall for your reference. Oh, I know it well. F the flashing spot is the town hall, so head. let's head on the right. All right, sweet. Okay. We already have a notice board notice? Use write to create a new memo. Okay. This is nice. Oh, the other villagers are here too already. That wasn't like all the villagers. So you want to see, can we see who's in here? Um, okay, so there's two villagers that did not greet me at the train station. They're officially dead to me. It's Pee Wee and Greta. So yeah, Pee Wee and Greta need to go. And as soon as I get some amiibo abilities, uh, they will be gone. All right, we gotta go to town hall. Mitzi's amazing. Mayor, this is the, uh, my name is Dan. You don't have to address me as mayor. Every you know what? It's Mr. Mayor to you. I completely forgot to mention, I'm uh, on staff here too. I'm Isabel, your secretary. I wish it would be really cool if when you did this process of selling your town and starting a new one, that they kind of remembered you and they're like, oh my gosh, you sold Vidville, but now you're here. Like, it just kind of starts over now. It would have been kind of cool if it had included some new dialogue. Um, if I'm being frank, I was surprised to see someone as young as you step off the train. I mean, our former mayor held the position for many, many years and was quite set in his ways, but excuse me, youth is a breath of fresh air and exactly the new image our town needs. You're perfect for the job. All right, of course, we need you to get started right away on your work as mayor. Therefore, we must complete your resident resigna uh, <laughs> resignation. Uh, reg uh, registration. A mayor should really be a resident. So, what was your name? Oh, right, Dan. Duh. Okay, I have your name. And next... Oh, no, this is bad. I can't believe I completely forgot something so vitally important. In order to register you as a town resident, we need your address for the form. Do you have a place to live yet? There aren't many vacant houses here, you, uh, but you can build one. We should really have you decide where you're going to live before we proceed, and here I made you come all the way to town hall for nothing. I apologize for being so flaky. Um, on the other side of the tracks on Main Street is Nook Homes, the real estate office. Ah, yes, this might make more sense if you look at your map. See the railroad track? You guys can't see it. Uh, head north and go to Main Street. We know where it is. Um, some fresh air and exercise will do you good. Will do you good. Am I being being nagged on day one? What on earth? It'll give me a chance to stay here and continue with your registration. And you need to find Nook Homes. Uh, once you've got a place to live, please come back here and let me know right away. She's judging you. Yeah. What the heck was that? Wow. Okay. We are headed to... I'm not going to talk to these villagers that didn't talk to me when I got here. We're headed to Nook Homes. She really said go touch grass. Okay. This is the post office. 
I wanted to see my money. I wanted to visit, make sure it was safe. You guys realize that, like, when I take a week off from playing this and come back next week, I'm gonna be, like, mega rich. Because <laughs> they'll have sent me so many payments. Uh, on behalf of the Windfall Chamber of Commerce, I'm pleased to welcome you. So, Dan, you're here today because you want to build a house. Yes, very good, very good. I can build one just about anywhere you want. Yes, I can indeed. So, have you decided on where you want to live? Yes. Then it won't take long at all. Just take me to where you want to build your new home. We already scouted this place on the map. I think you guys know relatively like where I want to go. Please wait. Keep up, Tom Nook. We're going. Some some exercise would do you good, as they say here in Windfall. Horrible place. Brand new mayor. Instantly putting me down. This is where I want to live. I, I love this spot. This is great. I, I don't I don't love how hard it's gonna be for me to like place things down evenly, but let's see. Yes, here. Plenty of space to build a house here. There's a river nearby if you like fishing or being in nature. It's the perfect spot. We'll need to move trees and flowers and any buried items in order to start building, but if you're okay with that, we can start right away. Hold on a moment, let's see what it'll look like. Okay. Oh, it's incredibly hard to tell if it's like centered in this spot, but I don't think I could do much better. It's that tree on the right. Like, I don't know if I could not see that. I could see how close I am to the river on each side and kind of do some math. I think we'll just go with it. It's decided then. It will take a bit of time to build your house. So for today, let's reserve the space for you. There we go. Yes, wonderful. Sweet. It doesn't look too bad. Including the cost of the land, materials, building costs, etc. Will... Well, the calculation is complicated, so... I can't come up with it just now. I'll tell you the total later. Anyway, I'm sure you're very busy since you just moved here. Once you've taken care of other things, stop by my store again to get the bill. But I suppose you still need a place to rest your head. Give me a moment. Ta-da! I'll let you borrow this tent so you have somewhere to sleep. I've also put up a mailbox so you can even start receiving mail. I bet you rarely see a tent with a mailbox, right? Uh, well, I'll be returning to my shop part ways. Blah, 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 blah. Now that you know where you'll be living, you have to get registered as a resident, so talk to Isabel. In the meantime, I'll work out the numbers. Come by my shop again later. Sweet. So yeah, uh, do we have an even amount of space? If we don't, it's dang close. Look at that. I think this we picked like a really good spot for the house. It could have moved one tile over and then it probably would have been too far from the other side but this is fine I, it doesn't have to be perfectly even yeah i appreciate that all messages show up on the big screen <laughs> sorry about that that's the one downside right okay so tom Nook's just gonna wander around the woods what does he say when you talk to him what's wrong <laughs> don't you need to go back to town hall anyway okay tom has Wants literally nothing to do with me. Now, right now, this bridge we have over here is the only bridge in town. So, when we look at the map as a whole, um, we already see that, like, there's a really good opportunity for a bridge to the south, just under the lake. And I could even put one next to my house. That could be kind of fun. If only I moved my house just a bit farther back, then I could put one, like, directly in front. Because I think there's not enough room between the front of my house... To create like a two by two path going to like the left. I don't know. That would get me right to the town hall. But you can do, I think, up to three bridges? It look, yeah, it looks as centered as th I think we can get it. I wish I just would have moved it back a square or two. I love this town layout, seriously. Weemcast, how's it going? Have you been? Yeah, this is awesome. How much decorating outside does the game let you do? More than you would think. Um, so you can do trees, flowers, and shrubs. Um, but there are public works projects. 
And those are like more like items you can place outside, but there's a limit to how many. They're kind of big. They take up enough room to where it's hard to put two very close together. But there, it was the first Animal Crossing game where you could actually like do some pretty interesting stuff outside, besides just trees and flowers. So she's asking if I have the perfect spot to call home. I'm saying yes. Happy to hear that. Uh, you're in a temporary housing right now. Um, I do hope your house is completed soon. Living in a tent can be very tiring. Now about your registration, I've completed as much as I can, but there's one thing I need to know. When is your birthday? Okay, today is, um, today is the 23rd of June. So I'm going to put the 23rd of June because my character was literally born today. That means today is your birthday. Oh, right. That's today. Happy birthday! Starting your job as mayor, moving, and having your birthday all in one day. That's a lot to celebrate. Oh, my apologies. It made, it made me so happy I got a bit carried away. Please take this. This is your very own town pass card. It's like an ID card that proves you live in Windfall. We can call... We call it the TPC for short. Uh, your TPC is always kept up to date with your latest profile information. Tap on the character on the touch screen to access it. As long as you have it on you, you can visit other towns. You know, another neat thing you can do with your TPC is check up on your town initiatives. Complete initiatives earns meow coupons, so you can trade for rare items over at the campground. Or, if you prefer the good old-fashioned bells, you can redeem your meow coupons for those too. Either way, be sure to check out your TPC every day and see what initiatives are on offer. Or was it incentives? I don't know. All right, then. This wraps up just about everything. We'll need to process your move. The last thing uh, we'd like you to participate in is a ceremony that commemorates your arrival. Can you take a look on the map on the touch screen? Uh, that place with an X is where we hold special events every now and then. We'd like for you to plant a tree in the square so it can become a great symbol for our town. I'll lead the way. Here we go. Tree plant ceremony time. Plant the sapling by pressing A. Yay! On June 23rd, 2023, Dan became the mayor of Windfall. Yes, he did. Oops. Hitting buttons on my end and it's making a mess. I hope this tree grows just as strong and lively as Windfall. All of us are looking forward to the changes you'll make to our beloved town. The tree has been planted, so please relax for the rest of the day. What a tutorial. I'll have the other tasks of other tasks for you to attend to. So head back to town hall. Oh, she has to attend to other tasks. Please spend the rest of the day as you like, look around town, greet your new neighbors, and if there's something you don't understand about windfall or just don't know what to do i can give helpful advice on living here at the town hall feel free to come and ask me anytime yay okay cool go us you cannot save your progress and end the game at any time all right so let's say hello to some people. So we need to get on everybody's good side because in this game, you have to get your uh, approval rating up to 100% before you can actually start like doing anything. That's kind of, I would say that's kind of the tutorial in this game. So we wanna, miss it. We wanna say hi to everyone, whether or not they greeted us at the beginning. I thought if this bro's in charge, windfall's in good hands. We're counting on you. Make this town the strongest town around. All right. We saw the other two at the ceremony for the planting of the tree. But they bailed the second that <laughs> the tree was planted. So what gives?
I miss the town tree. I wish we had it. And Animal Crossing New Horizons, such a good way of seeding your time spent. Seeing your time spent. Yeah, I agree. All right, Greta. Uh, have we met yet? Uh, well, not for, not formally anyway, but I know who you are. Uh, I was at the tree ceremony. Oh, it was so inspiring. I know our town's going to grow even lovelier. My name is Greta, and I look forward to seeing what you're going to do with Windfall. Well, you don't have to worry about that, Greta, because you won't be living here very long. I drink coffee from a vat. Is today the fishing tourney? What's going on here? I love the outdoors. Have you ventured out from your house to explore nature as well? Well now, how admirable. My hobby is giving badges. Oh, the badges, right, to all the good boys and girls like you. I'm Phineas, the badge man. I can tell what you've done and how you how good you've been. All of that from just one look. So how about you then? Allow me to take a look. It seems you've gotten your hands on a fair number of items. This old man is a bit jealous just thinking about how much variety there must be in your shopping catalog. I've got the perfect badge for you. Right, we cheated. That's <laughs> it feels like we did anyway. That's a really important badge. So keep it to keep it safe. Oh, keep it safe with um along with your town pass card. If you touch the badge mark on the lower left hand side of your TPC, you can see the badges you have any time. If I get the feeling you've been working extra hard, I'll come by again and get another badge. In the meantime, live each day to the fullest and try new things. So, okay, how many badges did you unlock? I got the catalog maniac bronze badge. I have a decent amount of things listed in my catalog. I'm guessing I have to keep talking to him now because I probably have a lot of badges. If you keep being good, I'll bring you a new badge. Oh, okay, no, that's it. Okay, hold on. So, uh, anything you write on your profile can be seen by other users. As if Nintendo is going to support online for this game very much longer. Meow coupons, etc., etc. So, this is the badges. And that's it. A badge for players with an item catalog filled over 20%. We definitely have more than that because I think my catalog is... I mean, years and years of collecting items. What are the initiatives? Small talk initiative. Oh, we've done four to five. Okay, a good neighbor knows all the latest scuttlebutt happening in town, so go chat with... Chat and chew the fat with five residents of Windfall. Simply talk to five different villagers in town to complete the small uh, talk initiative. Sweet. Well, let's go find some folks. I think we have one more villager we can talk to anyway, so yeah, that's probably by design. Uh, here's retail. Is there smoke coming out of this chimney? No. It's probably over the bridge. Bridge is not here. Here we go. Ooh, this house is kind of cool. Yeah, here we go. Hey, Mary, I really enjoyed that tree planting ceremony. Beautiful. I got blindsided by emotion. Well, let's combine our strength and make this town a great one. Sweet. So that should be our meow coupons earned. Stamp. Um, okay, it's telling me on the other screen to visit the cat machine. And then there's a coupon kickoff initiative. You did it. You've completed your first initiative. Now complete the second one by picking up your reward at the cat machine. Yay. They're just giving these away. Okay, we gotta cross back over this bridge. And we can head all the way around to collect on our meow coupons. All right. We have 12. Oh, they like gave us some to start with. Excellent. Wait, it's still beeping. What's going on? I don't understand. Why is there two more? Why wouldn't it just give me them all at once? Oh, because we had to collect them and then it, we earned... Okay, that's... I get it. Yeah. That's silly. Ooh, 
was New Leaf Dan Goldcore. You know, if you watch the tour, Kato, you would absolutely have the answer to that question. Uh, by the way, now that Kato's here and AJ, um, I'm not going to say much, but you should definitely come by tomorrow's Dinkum stream. Because we're kicking off something that might be, perhaps, maybe, I don't want to hype it too much because we'll see what happens. I saw your Beachville. So you saw that like you just turned on the video is what you saw. Um, we might have accidentally started the biggest Dinkum collab anyone's ever done. Maybe. Depending on how it goes. So definitely come by tomorrow's Dinkum live stream. Oh, Dan, yes, welcome. Have you finished everything you needed to do to move in? I have, of course, completed running the numbers on your home loan. Yes. Let us discuss the costs. You know, Dan, we can't build a house unless we have all the necessary costs covered. I think you'll find that we have the necessary costs covered, Mr. Tom Nook. So the down payment is nothing more than a paltry 10,000 bells. Look at my options here. Let's do it or I can't afford that. We get to be confident now. We get to play Animal Crossing with confidence and say, let's do it. That's easy. We can't break ground on your home until the down payment is received. But do not worry. Uh, no, no. This town is rich in crops and other resources. There are no crops in Animal Crossing New Leaf. Please. I am the crops, okay? I brought money, Tom. You don't have to insult me with your fruit and seashells and recycling. Dumb. I've never been richer, okay? Once you've saved a bit buying a net or a fishing rod, <laughs> once you've saved a bit. You have no idea, old man. You don't know me. You don't know anything. Look at this guy. Look look at it. Look at this guy. Come right away when you've saved up 10,000 bells. I'll be right back. You just shut your raccoon mouth. Come back when you've saved up 10,000. Please. Do you know who I am? I guess we are in kind of like witness protection. He probably shouldn't know who we are. Maybe we shouldn't be shouting how rich we are. All right. I would like to withdraw the money. I will take 50,000 bells, please. Your current balance is doesn't matter. You're rich. That is quite a big loan for your first. It's not even a loan. The down payment is 10,000. Do you think they jacked up the prices thanks to the selling of your island? Like, do you think everything's going to, like, cost a lot more now? Because <laughs> I don't remember 10,000 bells being a thing. We played this for members recently and started a fresh town. And I don't remember a 10,000 bell down payment. There you go. You brought the money. Let's have a look. Are you, are you doubting me? 10,000 bells. That makes me rather happy. This is as close we'll get to Daniel's Treasure Islands. Uh, the money makes everything official, uh, and work on your house can begin at once. You can also choose the color of your newly built home's roof. What color shall it be? Uh, I usually go blue. Let's just go blue. Alright, make sure your house is ready to go later in the morning. I must tell you about the home remodeling. Once your house is finished, I can help you update the exterior. The exterior of your home consists of things on the outside, such as roof, door, and fence. Every day, my display samples here. Uh, I will display new samples here to look through, so you should come by when you're curious. Um, well, for the moment, you must be looking forward to tomorrow. Yes. Uh, thanks much. All right, sweet. Yeah, the bottom screen lags because the way the software works, it can only focus on one at a time. So the bottom screen, I could have it focus on that, and then, of course, the top screen would lag. Now, you know what's interesting is if and when we, we have, like, a conclusion to this series and we all enjoy ourselves, another one I'm thinking of doing is this one. Come on, camera. Come on, camera. Be with me. I got... It's Wild World. It's wild. Whatever. I got Wild World again. I thought maybe you guys would like that eventually. But we gotta we gotta finish our our dinner before we can have our dessert. Let's go to Nookling Junction. 
Press the have a capture card for this. I have my ways. Let's just put it that way. What's this? Could it be this is your first time in our humble establishment? AC Blur, is that new? <laughs> our store sells a variety of furniture and useful goods for daily living. As you can see, it's rather teeny shop, but please relax and enjoy the sh Okay, blah, blah, blah. we'll enjoy the shopping. Ooh, we can buy a chess piece, a uh, punching bag. Let's let's go ahead and buy a net. A net and shovel are fantastic first items. Yes, I know how to use the net. Okay, yes, I know how to use the shovel. We'll buy a fortune cookie. Two play coins, easy. I uh, will buy the furniture because we're trying to upgrade this store as quickly as we can. A knight, get it. Buy this place out. A sandbag. So you just carry over money to the new island, not any stuff? Do you get to keep the old island? Uh, so, uh, yeah, this basically, yeah, yes and no. You get to keep your money. You get to choose whether or not you want to sell your catalog for more money or keep it. I kept my catalog. And from there, your old town is deleted. It is gone. And you're, you're a new person, apparently, and you have all this money. So now I have... We, we managed to take our payments in installments rather than a lump sum. So we're going to get a little more money. And every day they're going to give me 300 plus K a day. Every day they're going to give me that a day. That was silly. And I'm going to get to, like, just accumulate wealth really, very, very, very quickly. So we're more focused this time around on, like, decorating than we are, you know... Um, the grind. This is Animal Crossing easy mode. <laughs> We've had hard mode. Now we have easy mode. Um, okay, so this is Able Sisters, obviously. Um, we got to start a relationship here with uh, Sable. I never am impressed with the clothing in here, but let's go over here. Can you go up the? Can you go up the blocked staircase at some point? Yes, that's gonna be the hair salon. Okay, I'm loving the top hat. Do we have a monocle? No, that's okay. <coughs> Perfect. Was there any clothing in here that would match my top hat? No. Nope. That stinks. I'm trying to look fancy. Can I do pro designs yet? We're not in a clothing store. You can make brand new designs. You can save any designs you want for later. Make a pro design. 500 bells. All right. A shirt. Long sleeves. Uh, we'll store it here. You can create a design. You can wear it as clothes or display it as furniture. Other players can see your designs. Yes, 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 they can. Do not include any personal information. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. We're jumping straight into this game right now. Like, I'm, I'm literally doing a design on day one. I've never... I would just never. Especially a pro design. Um, so yeah, you can change the color palettes. You can do all that fun stuff. I want to change the, um, well, let's, yeah, let's, let's see what we got here. We need like darker, um, this will work. This will work. And then I want the canvas to be fresh. There we go. I don't know if I've ever done a pro design. This menu is very new to me. I like its navigation better than 
New Horizons. I'll say that for pro designs. Okay, we're going to we're going to make a suit. And so for that, I think the best thing to do is just start with you know a black shirt. And we're going to take white, and we'll take our. Can I do that thing where you? No. Okay. We'll just have to do our best here. Now, I don't know what I'm doing. I just thought that was worth mentioning. Uh, undo. Is this a business shirt? Am I doing it right? What's a suit shirt gonna look like? Looks like a waiter so far. Here, let's go. Uh, let's do black. No, that's fine. I'm sure, it'll be like halfway done if we do this. Okay, paint bucket, we'll go back to the front, take white, we'll throw it there. Okay, that's looking businessy. Mm -hmm. No, don't quit. I meant to push the undo button. Is... Is this something? I need a red tie. That's that's all I that's all I need to worry about right now is the red tie. So it's gonna come down. Like that. And We'll just kind of taper it off like that. Right? That's a big tie. Gold buttons? Well, the tie is there now, so it's like covering it up. Uh, We got to put like a... Oops. Yeah, something like that. Oh my gosh, it's a necktie, so it has to go around your... How... I'm not good at this, guys. It looks like your jacket has a tongue. This is... this is not going well. The tie needs the knot. The knot... yeah, it goes up to your neck. Okay, which would mean Oh, well, I guess we have to hold on. Okay, okay, right? This looks terrible. It was kind of the point, though. How's this? Is this something? The tie looks ridiculous. Should I make it shorter? No. Why do you do a bow tie? It's a choice. Okay, all right, all right, I'll take that. We also need cuffs. Okay. Look at that. Look how professional that looks. Yeah. Okay. 
white around the collar. Is it not? Is there not white around the collar? What, what's wrong? What's wrong with the collar? Is, do I have to go all the way over? Like that? Hold on, what does it look like? Turn around, shirt! Oh, uh, yeah, I see what you mean. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's not... We're almost there. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Just gonna look like you're wearing hand-me-downs that your mom made you grow into. That's fine. That's fine. I just want to look the part. They made me mayor fresh off the train, and I found a top hat, and now we have a business shirt. Perfect. Good work. Business boy, what a nice name for it. We have 500 bells. Yay, we gotta wear it, right? Ha ha, we did it. Nice, okay, still no good pants, of course, but that's fine. All right. Well, this has been a productive day in town so far. So we've paid off our down payment. So that means they're building our house. We have a lot of money still. We may, we have a, a new outfit. It's time to take our first photo for our ID. Mayors in New Zealand wear a gold chain around their necks too. I think I've seen that. Ready, cheese. Sweet. What's the gold crab? Oh, it's my it's my sign, isn't it? Okay. Is this the Animal Crossing game that removes grass when you walk? This is the second time they did that. So City Folk was the first, and the grass removal in this game is way more forgiving. So it, it does remove slowly over time, especially if you run. However, it comes back. Um a lot quicker. In City Folk, to make it come back, you had to play every day and also not walk on the spots that were balding. In this game, you can just leave it and you can come back oh, a month, a year later, and the grass will have kind of come back. There's spots like this where it'll like never grow, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, overall, anywhere you see grass, you, in theory, yes, you could run to the point where it's gone. Um, so Animal Crossing for GameCube and Wild World did not have that as a feature. They added it in City Folk. It was really intense in City Folk. No one had grass. And uh, in this game, they toned it down quite a bit. I think they heard a lot of people complaining about it. So now, Town Hall did not line up perfectly with the tree, but I do like that these spots are close still. I think that's pretty cool. I think we start our first day by digging up all the little holes around the town and, and catching bugs. Normally I would catch shells, but or, or stock up on seashells, but we don't need to do that because we're epically rich. So I think it's just kind of a museum thing now, right? So we'll catch some bugs, and then I think we'll skip to the next day since we were kind of we're kind of running out of things to do very quickly. I'm, I'm only gonna skip to the next day for the sake of the streams, and um, as long as we've run out of things to do in a previous day and going to another day, we'll like change that somehow. In, in the early stages of this game, those first few days are definitely very productive. Were those perfect pairs? Do I already have perfect pairs? You spelled pairs weird, so I, I got confused. Is my town fruit pears again? I'm so sick of pears being my town fruit every game. So these are not perfect. Were there perfect ones down here? Starting the game with perfect fruit is like... Huge. You have the megaphone. Not yet. The megaphone's a great item.
Definitely great when you're looking for somebody. So we just had summer solstice like yesterday, the day before yesterday. Um, maybe not, they just look shiny. We still could have one. Um, so yeah, it's summer now, so there should be some... Quite, oh, here we go, we got one. Perfect pair. P-A-I-R. Go us. Sweet, now we can plant perfect pear trees. I don't know where to put them. We gotta create like a perfect pear spot. I think we already caught these butterflies, right? I know you guys can't see my inventory, but I did catch one. Ooh, let's eat the fortune cookie. We never, we gotta, we gotta go back to Nooks and, and turn it in, but we never, don't put it on the ground. That still happens in this game too, unbelievable. Eat. I can spell just fine. <laughs> A bulb in your future is looking dim. Bring a flashlight. I don't know if that's a Mario item. It could be. Okay. What are those for, asks Angela. I'm assuming you mean the perfect fruit. So perfect fruit is a thing that um, is in, obviously, a new leaf. And what it lets you do is sell fruit for, like, way more money. Perfect fruits, I forget how much they're worth, um, but you can plant them like anything else and they will grow into a perfect fruit tree and you will get money for selling them like way more than just regular money. And if you sell them in someone else's town who doesn't have that native fruit, you'll get even more money, which we're not gonna be able to do, but uh, it's still pretty cool. And also I'm very rich, so I don't know why I'm so excited about it. I think it's just cool on your first day to get a perfect fruit. You think that's a sorry item? Oops. Like money trees. Yes, but there's also money trees too. I think we still have money trees. So it's like money trees, but they keep growing. Eventually you do um, get to a point where you've harvested all the fruit you can off of one perfect fruit tree. And then the leaves fall off. So you have to plant a new one. So you never want to sell all of your perfect fruit. You want to keep just enough to replant um, your original, like, tree patch, whatever that is. We do some mail. It's just one thing. That's my designs. What do I get? Oh, the instruction manual, okay. Welcome to Animal Crossing New Leaf, welcome Amiibo. This gift will uh, this gift will be a big help with the exciting additions of your town. So yeah, this is for like understanding all the changes in, in the update. Um, let's go inside and kind of get rid of some stuff. Some of the stuff, I'm not really sure why they got rid of in New Horizons, like perfect fruit, fortune cookies and stuff like that was all cute. I, the fortune cookies would have been cool to see. We just got the little fortune cookie cart, which is kind of lame. Um, Isabel's here barging into my tent. Everyone would get all worked up. We roast marshmallows, make popcorn. Uh, we'd always burn the popcorn a bit, but you know something? That just made it extra delicious. Oh no, I've gotten all carried away again. I'm sorry. Anyway, I brought you something nice. Is it a storage container? It's a lantern. I don't, I don't need a lantern. I thought I'd seen some somewhere, so I searched through the storage. Sure enough, it was there. I thought it'd be perfect for you since you're sleeping in a tent. How about a bed? I don't have anything to sleep on. Select lantern. Okay, she wants me to put a lantern down. Just like that. Face the lantern, press A to turn it on. Super, since it's so old, I wasn't sure if it would work properly, but it looks like it works just fine. What do you want to bet if it didn't work? She'd still make me keep it. What else? Well, if you face the lantern, hold down A while using the joystick, it'll move it backward and forward. That's all for me. Sorry to barge into you like this. Taking my leave now. All right. 
Yeah, Pocket Camp is like all about the fortune cookies. <laughs> Can you get money from the rocks in this version? Yes, uh, there are money rocks, and there's also a daily rock that has a mineral in it. And you can use that mineral to customize furniture or sell it for money. Um, all right, so cool. My tent is good. I wanted to put down a couple of items um, so you can see what I'm dealing with here. Let's display this. <laughs> this is great. Let's put down the chess piece in this corner. Did I say rook earlier? Because it's definitely a knight. Display the instruction manual. <laughs> Lily, how's it going? Thank you for being a billionaire for four months. Appreciate it. What does this say? Yes, let's read it. Hmm. It's opened up the bottom screen, actually. There's a bunch of stuff using Amoeba. Look at all this. We'll go ahead and close it. <laughs> all right. I'm going to plant the tree, I think. And I'm going to sell the shirt because we don't need it now. Just trying to decide what to do here. Um, yeah, we'll sell a couple things. Do you have any plans to revive island tours? Probably not in New Leaf, because um, <laughs> while doing this, the internet doesn't work, unfortunately. But um, I would love to do them again soon in New Horizons. It's just going to... I'm still kind of taking my break from New Horizons at the moment. I thought I would plant this tree over here somewhere, but... I'm a bit nervous. Yeah, I don't want to plant it too close to shore or too close to my house. I'm worried it'll just die. So I need to find a spot for it where I'm confident it's going to grow. Maybe that'll be right here-ish. Uh, one, one more down, I think. This seems like a good enough spot. Mod War. Perfect. Get it? Perfect. Cause it's never mind. All right, let's go sell a couple things. We'll keep our net out as well. Have I caught one of these already? Yes. AJ, we'll see you later. See you tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out. I could replace the yellow flowers. I'm just worried it's too close to the house. Oh, is that a storage closet? Hello, Timmy. What did you bring me today? I have a tape deck I'd like you to look at. I can take it off your hands for 175 bells, or you could set it your own price and put it in the back for somebody else to buy. That amount is completely fine. I'd much rather sell it outright. Just something a customer brought into our shop. Nothing really out of the ordinary. With your help, we've been able to recycle and refurbish so ma many things. If your customers keep bringing you items like this, feel free to come and sell them here. Back when Reese had a job. Yeah, now Reese is like retired. Yeah, we got a bed too. We should probably grab that. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the Recycle Shop Retail. Um, would you have to be the new mayor? Don't I look the part? Why are you confused about this? I'm so happy you decided to stop by our humble little shop. What an honor. Our shop buys items and furniture to resell here. We'll also pay a premium for any high value items listed on the board and in front of the shop. In addition to selling us to us outright, you can set your own price and put items on display for others to buy. So Mayor, if you have something you no longer need, please feel free to bring it by for fair price. Sweet. Sell. So I'm gonna sell, um, this shirt, these fruits, and I guess that's it for now. 
285, doesn't matter, I am rich. Any retirement benefits? <laughs> yeah, it's a good question. Okay. I think I would like to buy uh, this. The clothes closet. Okay, and I think I would like to buy this bed. And the clothes closet, I think, will let me store, like, actual furniture, I think. If not, I'll probably sell it back. We just need a closet of some kind so that we can access our storage, basically. Is that another bee? Okay, I already caught one of these. I'm worried I'm not going to get any new bugs now that I've caught, like, the four or five that I've caught. It just felt like those were all the bugs in the world right now. Cyrus is here. Um, he's sleeping in the back right now. Okay, so let's plop down the bed. Oh, um, that's fine. And then the clothes closet can go here. There we go. We can access our storage now. And I'm going to store none of this. I will store the instruction manual because I think this thing is nothing but trouble. There we go. Great. Yes, the storage is accessible through the train station. And if you visit other people's islands, you can access it there as well. So super overpowered feature in this game. We should probably look for the money rock. Even though we don't need it. There we go. We got the mineral rock. So this we can put in our storage. It's nice being rich, because I'm just not worried at all about the money rock or... Oh, shoot. Um, the money rock or anything like that. I'm not even going to look for the money rock, because I don't care. Happy home designer? That could be something. I have that. I definitely have that. find all the bugs I can possibly find. I guess bashing rocks is not a terrible idea. Because you could also end up finding, like, you know, a bug that way. I want to say there's four fossils. Hard to remember, especially day one. It's funny, we used to think that these graphics were standard. Now we have New Horizons graphics. Yeah, yeah, these graphics were fantastic for like a handheld console at the time. It's like, whoa. And then if you played with the 3D, um, if you had a 3DS and you played with that, it was pretty cool. But now it looks like trash. Here we go. This might be a pitfall, actually. I don't like collecting pitfalls, so I like to just... step on them deliberately. That's four fossils, so if we find another hole in the ground, I'm going to assume pitfall. Oh, is that a ladybug? Nice. Okay, one more slot in my inventory. I think...
think we're in good shape to go to the museum. I'm gonna go to the beach. I guess I don't really have a reason to go to the beach. But maybe. Wyox? I don't know if I'm saying your name right. Hello. How's it going? Alright, we gotta donate here to the museum. Alright. Blather's giving us the whole rundown here. Mamie, how's it going? They have nothing in the museum. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got you covered. Excessive fossil. We have four of these things now. Furby supremacy. All right. It should be all new fossils, I assume. It's a good feeling to select all this stuff and just be like, donate. Sweet. Nice. Okay, so we'll sell this. And then we will bring this to Nooks. And then we gotta put this in storage. screens for now. All right. I got a lucky ticket. It is this. I don't think it's anything. Number 16. Ah, oh, sorry. Not a winner. Please accept this polka dot stool as a consolation prize. Please accept this hot garbage as a consolation prize. I came dressed in my business best, and that's how I got treated. You would think out of all the people in this universe who respect capitalism, it would be the nooks. That is not the case. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so we're going to go to retail to sell a couple things. We'll hit up our storage, and then what do you think? Should we skip to the next day? Because I, I, I think we're out of stuff to do for this first day. So I'm happy to skip ahead and get started on the next day for the sake of the stream here. Seven hundred. Still play New Leaf every now and again, but I miss playing City Folk as well. I love your DS. How do you get it to show up on the screen? Um, I'll let you YouTube search that one. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's it's nice. I, you know what I'm impressed by is I've had this for a while now. I went for a really long time without playing it. The battery is stellar. Like the battery on this thing. It's like it's brand new. It can just go and go and go. Okay. So we're going to put this in here. And then I think what we do is we save, we skip ahead, and we start the next day. Yeah, New Leaf has a lot of fruit. It's really cool. New Leaf, they just went 
all out with stuff like that. Okay. Um, so, press A. A new feature has been added to your game. Amiibo camera. You can use Amiibo camera to take pictures of your town residents and Amiibo characters in the real world. Okay. Uh-huh. Um... What's it mean to link happy home? What do you get when you do this? I've never done that before. I'm not going to right now, but if anyone knows, feel free. I need help. Set the time. Oh no, it's the 24th. That, no, I guess it's the next hour. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Perfect. I haven't had a chance to explain your work what your work as mayor entails when you find a moment please come to town hall sweet i missed the lemons i recently re-downloaded pocket camp and wished we had them new horizons oh yes oh look at this we got a delivery put it in your mailbox your mailbox is full i can't cram any more in there or i can't cram any more in there so don't forget to collect the mail when you have mail you'll see a blinking sign and like you see now that's how you'll know all right Our house is looking fantastic. Let's go ahead and open our inventory here and check the mail. Present. What do we got? It's probably a reward for having lots of money. To commemorate saving 100,000 bells, please accept this box of tissues. I love it. Unknown sender. Congrats on your newfound mayorhood. To be honest, I was supposed to be the mayor, but... One thing led to another, and now it's all up to you. I'm rooting for you. Keep it a secret. Who is that? Interesting. Justice for lemons. Oh, a uh, box of tissues we gotta put away. Okay. I love New Leaf music. All right, we're gonna get someone else barging in. I see your house is all finished. Congratulations, the lumber smell from the new house is so nice, isn't it? Reminds me, that reminds me, I brought you over some wallpaper to celebrate your new high pit, it's garbage. There's no way she picked up a wallpaper I'll actually like. Paw print wall. Ugh. I don't want paw prints all over my wall, Isabel. <laughs> Mika, for your, for your fame. Thanks. 12 months. Thanks for being a member for 12 months. That's awesome. Uh, you can also use it to zoom and change your point of view. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've played the game before. All right, Isabel, get the heck out of my house. All right, do we want to see the paw print? It's handmade. <laughs> Let's see. Hang on wall. Yeah, it's like she literally walked around in mud outside and then walked all over the, like a giant piece of paper on the floor and then told me it was wallpaper. I don't want this. I'll keep it. Can I put the box of tissues on top of this thing? No, it's just on the ground where you can't see it. Okay, so I've put that stuff away. We got a lot to do. We got to pay down our first loan. We need to go shopping. Buy up nooks. I'm pretty sure for the first year of me playing New Leaf, that was my wallpaper. Yeah. Oh, what was that? What was that? That's a dragonfly. Why, that's new! 
Excellent. Okay. What else we got? Dead flowers. Our tree is growing. That's really good to see. I was worried about that. We gotta look for fossils. And bugs. Oh, we got weeds already. Hopefully we get a fishing rod today. I miss the uh-oh sound better than the wee-woo when you catch stuff. <laughs> Interesting way to describe the sounds. Okay, I'm trying to find all the little fossils and stuff. Hey, I don't have a slingshot. That sucks. I would love to grab that present. I think we already caught a tiger butterfly. Who's moving here? Shep! We get Shep? That's awesome! I didn't even have to use an amiibo. They're giving us freaking Shep. We did it. Here we go. You got Shep last night. Nice. Yeah. Oh, we are Katrina today too? Okay, I'm scaring bugs away left and right. Oh, shoot. Do villagers move away on their own in New Leaf? Yes. Yes, they will do that. It's miserable. Don't get attached to anybody in older Animal Crossing games. Don't do it. I promise it's nothing but heartbreak. All right, just found the pitfall for the day. Got on the notice board. Windfall announces that Dan has assumed the role of town mayor. Let's look forward to his plans to enliven the town. Well, it's true. I am very rich. Nothing livens up a town like a pile of money. Oh, money rock. I didn't dig holes. Ah! Okay, I thought I was going to lose at least one there. Did I say a pun? I don't remember saying a pun. The touchscreen is so nice for managing your inventory. Even though your inventory in this game kind of stinks, um, it's still fantastic. I love it. We don't need the money. <laughs> it's still disappointing to lose. What is happening? Hello, I only need a minute or two of your time. Oh, it's Wisp. I'd be ever so grateful if you make your way over here. It's Wisp. Now, Wisp in this game gives us something really cool. It's the lamp. We get amiibos now. As you can see, I'm a lamp. I mean, I'm inside a lamp. Rather important distinction. Anyway, I feel a bit awkward for asking for another favor, but would you mind rescuing me? That's right. Just pick up the lamp and take it somewhere quiet, like your house, for example. I'll make it worth your... This is like freaky stuff, man. Don't pick up talking lamps, and then go into your house alone with them. That is not... Oh! I just said no to him. It is a bit dodgy to take a strange lamp home just because it asked you to. I get it. Well, if you change your mind, I'll be sitting here getting rusty. Unless <laughs> a wild animal or a ghost gets me, of course. That's kind of funny. I actually am glad I said no. Alright, I picked it up. Give me the minerals. I'm pretty excited about the lamp. I really did not get to play with um, 
amiibos too much. I scared that bug. My butt is so loud. I didn't get to play with amiibos much when I was playing New Leaf because by the time the Welcome Amiibo update came out, I, I'm like, where do I even get those? And why, like, I've already played New Leaf. Why would I do that? And I really wish I had because now, like, getting amiibos is incredibly difficult. And I'm glad I have a bunch from, from the New Horizons rush. But, uh, yeah, no, a bunch of people had amiibos from back in New Leaf when the Welcome Amiibo update came out. And I missed out. There we go. What is it? I don't even know what it is. We got purple. So we found our daily mineral. I don't think you can sit on rocks in New Horizons, can you? We already caught this, right? I think we did. Yeah. Sometimes you can't tell what dragon flies. It's good to, good to catch them. I wanted to see something real quick. So here's my house. Ooh. Yeah, so what I was talking about earlier was maybe lining up my bridge so it was literally next to the house. I think the river tapers off too quickly, so I don't think I can make it. Like, I, I could put it here, but I was hoping to have the path, like, be straight into my house, if that makes sense. So, like, a straight line from here. When we can make a new bridge, we'll try it. Nintendo Amiibo was back in stock for a few months ago. Not sure if they still do. Yeah, it just kind of depends, I think, on, on your locale. You know, you can go to your local Target or whatever, GameStop. Now, this one looks different. And it's not. Okay. And, yeah, you could you can get Amiibos that way um, if they happen to be restocking them. You can line it up on the other side. I suppose you're right, but I wanted it on the left side so that I can cross straight over to the town hall. You know what I mean? Because it's like right next to my house. Um, well, we got to Okay, let's talk to Tom Nook. We got to figure out what we owe him. Oh my goodness, it's Dan. So good to see you. Your home has been built. Yes, what do you think? Your house is now the stuff of dreams. Now for the numbers. I deducted your down payment, leaving a grand total of 39800 I have... I almost have that much on me from yesterday. You don't have to pay me directly. All right. I go to the thing. Schedule a thing. We do require that all homeowners become members of the Happy Home Academy. The most intrusive academy in the world. Inspection. Comprehensive look at your room and furniture layout. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Members, um, you see, also gain access to the HH Showcase. Uh, once you receive a letter, confirm your membership. You may visit the Showcase at any time. Cool. So I'm not going to do any remodeling right now. Wait till I pay off the house and make it nice and big. Oh, you haven't seen the map yet. I'm sorry. Well, okay, I have to go back into town to see it, but let's go to here first. The only three amiibos I want that aren't cards are Daisy, Bowser, and Sonic. We got a fishing rod today. Ooh, gold stereo. I'll definitely take that. Fishing on live streams gives me anxiety, so I don't know if we'll do that. But I should. I don't know when else I'm going to catch the fish. One of my goals is not to complete the museum, though. Like, if we don't complete the museum, that's fine. I just want to finish the town. Who believes he has a pure heart is probably... Oh, he who believes he has a pure heart is probably just a beast in denial. This one sounds not good. Oh, okay, I want to sell. I didn't mean to do that, but I guess I can sell a couple things. Just sell these dragonflies. The name of the town is Windfall. I think Katie came up with that. 
take it. By the tricycle as well. All right. Lucky ticket. Hey! A Triforce! Nice! We already got the Triforce. Excellent. It is a great name considering the, the circumstances. Alright, we're going to pull out some money. We get to see how much money we have now that it's been a, another day going by. Uh, withdraw. <laughs> okay. I'll take out the, the the odd bit at the end here. So 27, 6, 1, 2. Repay loan. How about all of it? Hooray! All right. We need to make sure we talk to everybody today. And the reason being is so we can continue earning their friendship. You have to become friends with them before you can do things as mayor. We still got to work on our approval rating. Oh my goodness, it's Dan. So good to see you. Thanks so much for paying your home loan in full. I've always had faith in you. You'd fulfill the terms of our little agreement. Now then, does your home... Not seem a teensy bit on the Wii side. Yes, yes, I have to say, I do feel a slightly larger home would suit you much better. Hmm? More room for furniture, delights, uh, and for gratuitous swinging of elbows, too. If you're interested, yes, I'm interested. I want to expand. It is time to make your home larger. 98,000? No problem. Yay! We did it. Hmm. By the way, um, because there's a Discord link in the chat right now, um, we are getting towards the end of June, which means our monthly build challenge is coming to an end. And this one was a lot of fun. I do hope if you if you have not entered yet uh, that you do. Uh, you are to go to crossingminute.com and generate a chaotic build build it and submit it to the discord and the winner is going to be known as designer supreme for the next month so if you're interested that is still going on so far i think this is my favorite one yet because the the build challenge generator is just a lot of fun and seeing the the challenges people are getting are really great so i hope you guys jump on that isn't it perfect picnic weather what can i do for you I'm just going to say, what's the latest? I borrowed something from Elmer a while ago and never returned it. I should return it. I should have returned it sooner. Now I feel kind of awkward about it. I don't suppose you mind returning it for me. No problem. I really want to do that, but I haven't yet. I got my build theme. Well, jump on it. We only got a little bit of time left. <laughs> Got bored, New Leaf. Prefer Animal Crossing New Horizons? I get it. There's only so much you can do in these older games. New Horizons kept me busy a lot longer than New Leaf ever did. But New Leaf is still, like, especially early game, like any Animal Crossing. Lots to do. A lot of fun. We should get her fortune read. We gotta find Elmer. What do we got? You're being surrounded by a bright aura of many stars. I, Katrina, will reveal your future and the way to capture fortunes untold for a mere 500 bells. Fortunes untold. I already have a fortune untold. Let me bring your star matrix into view. 
<laughs> yes, Chocolata, you have. What do we got? A stall at the summer festival. I see the owner gritting his teeth as you win over and over again. From this place, I can see the signs. Oh yes, I can. I see good fortune upon items. Woman's top. This item will be key to truly unlocking your good fortune. What am I supposed to, like, am I supposed to go now find, like, a top and wear it around? Like, how did, I forgot how this works. Okay. Very, uh, gendered of Katrina. Oh, look, we got more badges. Walking in the evening, well, always makes me feel uneasy. By the way, is some, <laughs> as Mitzi, like, stares at us, is there something you needed from me? May I have a badge? Oh, you want a badge? Let's see, what kind of badge best suits you? Oh! Ark, ark, ark! It seems you've been busy collecting a great many items, haven't you? It makes this old man happy to imagine you gathering so many happy things. Yes, it makes him happy that I'm a hoarder. I've got the perfect badge for you. I think a lot of it was there were a bunch of features in New Leaf that I didn't know about. Wear it if you're Kato, wear it. <laughs> Kate. <laughs> that was messed up. Um, okay, I don't even know if Kato's here to defend herself. <laughs> Catalog Maniac Silver Badge. Awesome. Is Phineas always roaming the island or is it just random? Every time you have unlocked a badge, you'll find Phineas. And uh, you have to talk to him to actually get the badge. And it seems like he only gives you one per visit, even if you've earned multiple. Where do you suppose Elmer is? I gotta talk to everybody anyway. I'd love for you to come over now and see how I've been decorating lately. All right. I'm trying to make friends. Lead the way. I don't know where you live. Shoot. Okay, you guys haven't seen the map yet anyway, some of you. Um, okay, so this is the town map. My house is in the middle there, the yellow. Right there. And then um, Greta's house is up top there. Okay. Why do I have to lead the way? It's your freaking house. Alright, she wants us to see how she's been decorating. Don't we all feel this way? Like when we when we make something in our homes, we're very proud of it. <laughs> like I just want to call everybody over. You haven't changed anything, Greta. This looks the same. It's just my little home, but I hope you like it. You made such a big deal. What are you talking about? Just your little home. I really look forward to showing you my room. Oh, great. Good job, Greta. Good job. Okay, bye. Leaving already? Well, okay. well, you have to tell me what you think of my place first. I can say really great, good, or hmm. I'm going to say really great because I need their votes. You're just flattering me, aren't you? What the heck? I'm trying to be nice. Well, then I'll make my place even nicer. And then I'll earn every bit of your respect. Greta! How did you know I was full of crap? Villagers in this game were more smarter than I thought they were. This is Elmer's house. Are you home? You're not home. On a snack run. Okay. Greta's on to you. How did she know? It's the microphone. That's what it is. This thing has a microphone built into it. And she heard me go, oh, very good, like in that sarcastic tone. And I played myself. That's what happened. You need to play Wild World? I got it right here. That is the plan. Not right now, but yes, it's on my list. Everyone knows you're full of crap. <laughs> I guess so. I, I started a brand new life and my reputation's already preceded me. This is a bunch of nonsense. 
Oh, it's Dan. Anyway, would you need something? Delivery. All right. Mitzi's like right there too. This is perfect. She'd be like, what did he say? Awesome, it's even better condition now than it was before. Oh, I, I know, let's play a game. If you can guess what's in here, you can get the prize. I'm gonna guess furniture, because that's what I want it to be. It's always clothing, though. <sighs> Every time. You are incorrect. The correct answer is actually clothing. Too bad, Dan. No, that's fine. Keep it. I don't want it. I make my own clothing. Get the heck out of here. Um, You are the best at delivering stuff. All right. Mitzi, I did it. <laughs> Uh, I handed it over. Thanks for delivering that package to Elmer. Did Elmer say anything? Come to think of it. Oh, good. He's pretty laid back. So I guess he doesn't stress about things being returned on time. <laughs> so I guess I can just take advantage of him from now on, is, is what Mitzi said. Okay. So we gotta go to the museum. We've bought out Nooks already. I have not checked Abel's today. Dude, time skipping stressful. You skip one day and there's like so much to do. <laughs> Katrina wants you to change her shirt. That's true. Uh, let us assess a fossil. I better not get any duplicates. These are all rare fossils not yet found in a museum's collection. Just keep them. Don't ask me. Don't give them back. No! What am I going to do with these blathers? Just keep them. Why do we have to go through all the menus? Here. Take all of this and keep it. He's like, there's no need for you to pull them all out of your pockets. Is? Are you sure? Because I seem to have to do everything around here. I love the zoom suit, though. Top, no, no bottoms. I haven't found business boy pants yet. Maybe we'll find some in here now. Okay. Um, oh. Mm. Dry denim pants. Don't mind if I do. We got the flame pants. I'm gonna buy these two. Okay, so what would count as a woman's top? Because this is, like, really uncomfortable for me in terms of, like, wh why, why are we gendering the clothes? Just, like, just say what you want me to wear without gendering the item. So is a, is a tank top supposed to be a woman's top? I'm just going to buy it. Guy Fieri pants. How do I know if it's the lucky item or not? I'll wear my flame pants. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. This outfit really is a hot mess. Sorry. Ooh. Oh. Beak! Yes. Look at these hats. This is fantastic. Give me everything. Did she say this is a great item for you want to look like a grape? Funny glasses. Yes, they are. Perfect.
Can I wear the beak and the glasses? No. Okay, beak it is. Okay, so we bought out Nooks. We bought out Abel's. We went to the museum. We paid our loan. We paid our loan, right? Yeah, we did. Have I talked to you yet? Need some shopping done. What you or, let's see, want to chat? I don't know what you're going to buy, but don't spend too much of your allowance. How does he know I have an allowance? It's a very generous allowance, though. Some days you just want to be a grape, I guess. Have you ordered your new house? I believe I did. Yeah, he talked about expanding. He's like, you paid off your house, right? We did. Don't make me go back. I gotta go talk to Isabel and see how my rating's doing. Let's talk to Pee Wee as well. We haven't talked to Pee Wee today. Kate says, yes, we did. All right, thank you. See, now I can like run back here. If, you're, if the mayor came in looking like this, would you take them seriously? Have you settled in and finished unpacking? All done. Wow, really? You must be really efficient when it comes to moving. You knew I came here with no luggage. Don't, don't sass me right now. My bedroom is completely full of unpacked cardboard boxes, and it feels like I moved so long ago. Sorry, please don't tell my brother. I don't let him in my room for just this reason. Ahem, right. I was going to tell you about the town hall. Okay, for starters, the area where I usually stand is the service counter. It's the hub for all windfall info. I provide a variety of services at the service counter, such as giving people advice for living in town. I also listen to requests to change town tune and flag, and I report on citizen satisfaction. However, I do, uh, however, to get advice or provide input, you'll need to stand at the counter like everybody else. I can't go bending the rules just because you're the mayor, after all. Now then, moving onto your responsibilities as mayor. Ah, I almost forgot. Before you can start laying out your vision for windfall, you need a, a town development permit. Getting the permit takes a bit of work. But don't worry, I'll help you out. That's what I'm here for. You can sit on rocks, yes. Uh, you know, I love your can-do attitude, Mayor Dan. Well, look, your mayoral instincts may uh, must be really good because you're already sitting in the mayor's chair. When you want to work on an official mayoral, mayoral business, just sit in that chair and I'll help you out. And come see me when I'm not overly busy and we can get started on your town development permit. That's now. Don't, no, that is right now. Do not try and send me away. You're working. You are on the clock. Let me guess. You'd like to work on the application for your town development permit. Well then, let me explain the prerequisites for the permit. The first requirement is that you have a house in town. Since you already have a house, you're all set there. The second requirement for a town development permit is to gain approval of the citizens. In order to gauge citizen approval, I'll regularly survey town folk to see what they think of you. The best way to raise your approval rating is to improve the town and the lives of those who live here. According to preliminary survey, your current approval rating is 33%. Law requires that all applicants have 100% approval rating, so let's make that our goal. Talk to me from your mayor's chair anytime you want to approve a rating. Okay. I give you advice on how to raise your approval rating. Do it then. You're on the clock. Quit pulling me out of my chair. Development permit. Okay. You already own a house, 33%. Good way to gain their approval. You can design a new town flag. <laughs> I don't want to design a town flag. Okay, let's design a town flag. Okay. You're the mayor, but we don't want you to work. Okay, I'm going to put the flag here. Wait, no, that's not what I meant. Our flag just looks like a blob. That's not what I meant. Dollar bills blowing in the breeze. I was thinking of something similar. Um, I was thinking of a golden, like, 
I'll do the dollar bills blowing in the breeze because what I was going to say was inappropriate. Not that I meant it to be, but I almost said something out loud and I heard it in my head and I'm like, don't say that out loud. Don't say that. Dollar bills blowing the breeze sounds great. How do I draw them? Badly. First of all, we should probably get like a blue sky. May have to share. No. Okay. And then I think green, obviously, for money. Um. Oh, not like that. Nope. This is hard. Turn to gold core? Not quite. Trying to make it look kind of random, chaotic. Just crumpled up dollar bills, just kind of like flying around. Okay, does this look like something? And then I think what we need to do is put little faces on them. Easier said than done. Just giving them some color. Whatever these are, these little dudes I'm putting on them, you use your imagination. Oh, wait, that actually looks good. There we go. Okay, now wait. We're gonna go to the palette. Go to green, light green. No, wait, come back. Uh, paint, light green. We're just gonna. There we go. It's a better green. It's like a bunch of green. Just use your imagination. What do you mean? Just, just give me, give me a second. This is, this is gonna be good. It's money blowing around in the breeze, right? And now we need little breeze marks, right? So we gotta. We gotta make little... Shoot. Shoot. These are gusts. Of wind. Gusts of wind blowing through. So yeah, there's the wind. We're making it rain. That's right, that's right. Um... And then we're gonna go into the color palette. We're just gonna make that white a little 
dim. There, there we go. There. It's... It looks like a lily pads. Don't say that. Windfall... Lag. It's perfect. All right, town flag. It's perfect, see? I told you it was perfect. Okay, now. She's going to tell us to do a town tune. So, merch went. So, I need to look for something. Animal Crossing Pop Town Tune. Okay. Best tunes? Hold on, let me look at the chapters here. I always trying to find a funny one. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Yes. I found it. That doesn't sound like it. No, that's it. That's it. Okay. Good enough. I would guess a good chunk of you are not going to know the reference. But that's okay. Okay. Uh-huh. I love how this is always the same exact menu in every game. So if you find a town tune made in New Horizons... It doesn't matter. It works in any of them. Okay. There it is. Yeah. Do you know what it's from? Anybody? Can even one of you know, guess what that's from? It's not a Rickroll. Development permit. 39%? I did a flag and a town tune. What do you mean 39%? Watering any flowers around town. I don't have a watering can. <sighs> Hi-fi guitar guy. There it is. RuneScape Sea Shanty. That is it. <laughs> um... All right. I am so nostalgic right now. <laughs> I better go buy one. I, they don't. They won't sell me one. She told you to get your hands dirty. Yeah. What the heck was with that? They're usually if you sit back down and ask for more, like she'll she'll tell you something else too. I think. So let's see what else we can work on. Sell stuff at the recycle shop. Sell things. Selling stuff at the recycle shop is a much better is much better for the environment than simply throwing it away. Recycling is set a good example for the rest of town. I could definitely sell stuff, I guess. That's Okay. Alright, let's sell stuff. Oh, 
I'd love to have a watering can. What, what do we have? I think I have a few things I can sell, but there's a few things I want to store, too. I'll probably sell a bunch of furniture in my house. You wonder if your uh, New Leaf Dream Address still works? That's, yeah, that's a good question. Starlight Crossing, how's it going? Okay. Um, definitely store the Triforce and the Gold Stereo and the Tricycle. Oh, no, no, sell the Tricycle. Um, let's keep the pants and the hats. And we'll keep the funny glasses. I'm going to put the lamp down. We're going to sell the tricycle. We're going to keep this. Okay. And then you get the watering can for Is from Isabel. Oh, we can? I thought we had to buy it. I'm going to sell those two things. Interesting. Oh, and we should check our initiatives for the day, too. Okay, do we not? Oh, here we go. Good fit initiative. Some folks dress for success. Why not dress to look great? Get started by spending 500 bells at Able Sisters. Shoot, I already did that. Didn't I? Next time you're traveling to the Summer Islands, net a birdwing butterfly and snag yourself a fine reward. Okay. Have you seen your TPC photo lately? Okay, we can do that. We can definitely update our photo. 20 fish? That's a ton of fish. I know you get all weak, but still. Okay, so we gotta catch a birdwing butterfly and do our photo and spend some money at Able Sisters, I guess. That's if we wanna go on like a Meow Coupons collecting spree. Fish isn't so bad, I guess. We can talk to Pee Wee as well. I'm just selling a few of the things that I picked up before. There we go. Debbie, we'll see you later. Oh, what do you want? You want this plant? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pressure you into buying this. A coconut palm? Hard to find an item that, uh, this nice here. Wow! Reese is right there. You should buy it. You really think... Uh, you and I really think alike. Time to buy. Nice. <laughs> Hard to find good stuff in this store. He said extremely loudly, so everyone heard him, who owns the store. Okay. Yeah, Reese has, like, nothing left. I almost bought that ugly chair, but I didn't. It's nice to see Reese doing something other than fawning over her hubby. Yeah, I know, isn't it? Um, okay. There's something else we were going to do. Oh, we were gonna like do those meow coupon initiatives. Buy out Abel's. That's and and upgrade our update our photo. Buy out Abel's. Update our photo. We can start catching fish, I guess. I don't really want to, but something about fishing and Animal Crossing. I'm just never looking forward to it. It's something I do, like when I when things are quiet, and I can just kind of grind it out, you know. Is there even 500 bells worth of stuff left today? Oh, here we go. Perfect. Okay, so that should count towards... There we go. Let's go take a photo. I know, we need the megaphone back. We get a whole week to take a photo. All right. 
I look terrible. Let's take this photo. Lovely run into old villagers on Main Street. Isn't that great? Perfect. Yeah, even if they move away, you get to kind of see them. I wish they said more things, though. They don't say a lot when they move away. When they come visit. Okay, so that should have been some coupons. Bleep. I don't know if or where or when we can catch a birdwing butterfly. <laughs> I blinked. Oh, well. Have we even seen a birdwing butterfly yet? I'm not asking you. Let's see. Is this a birdwing butterfly? What is the birdwing butterfly? I don't even remember what it looks like. That's a yellow butterfly. Didn't we catch one? It was in our first catch. Is that the white one? I caught one earlier? Okay, all right. As long as they're around. It's set on islands. It did. But I don't think it meant it. I think it was just being poetic. <laughs> the big one. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Okay, yep, I got, okay. The big one. I do remember now. I don't know if we're gonna find one. We should just go after the fish maybe, and then if we find a bird wing butterfly in the mix, we'll be we'll be happy. I gotta raise the volume. There we go. Our first fish is cherry salmon. So I did deliberately raise the volume to a pretty uncomfortable level just so I could hear when the heck these guys, ooh, bite. Here we go. Nice. Blathers is gonna be so excited. Can we change the angle to, no. Queen Alexander on New Horizons? Okay. I do remember. Did I just see one? I did not. You can catch a pond fish. I just screwed up. I guess we cannot catch a pond fish. I think the best thing to do is close my eyes. If they ever see the... Perfect. It's only out till 4 p.m.? Well, shoot. So we missed that one. So all I can do if I want to continue this um, Meow Coupon Saga is catch fish. that too i have to yeah i my fishing is way more precise when i just do it by sound fish for the museum. Ooh. Pond smell. I think we scared it away. No, it's up there. It came right up to us. There it is. 
Oh, this is going to be a really satisfying trip to the museum. That's going to be great. Oh my gosh. I need to return this to the cat store. Here we go. Blathers is going to blather on about the catches. Probably. You're probably right. All right. Should we hit the ocean? The one who smelt it dealt it. It's, it's true. That's okay. Yeah, I was going to say it's not the butterfly we need. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten a Meow Coupons request and like I look and it's something I can't do because it's like too late in the day. It happens far too often. They're kind of brutal. Oh wow, that was fast. Squid. Two more spots in my inventory. I have to look away to fish. Yeah, me too. Sensi the buttons on the 2DS are, like, really sensitive. So I'm finding it a lot easier to catch fish in this game than on the Switch. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but the Switch, like, especially the Joy-Cons and the Pro Controller, it's just squishier. So it's just, they're not as, like, I don't know, you're trying to, like, hit the button on time, and it just feels like there's more drag? I don't know what the word would be. About to boot up New Leaf. Do it! Oh, it's so fun. Ah! I was hoping for something new. All right. Let's head to the museum. We have all week to do the 20 fish. That was a pretty good start. Still no slingshot. So Isabel will just give me a, a watering can? Is that what you were saying? Are you sure not think of the gold watering can? I don't remember that. Okay. I've only played on the DS, 3DS a few times, found it very uncomfortable to hold. It's not the most comfortable device, I'll give you that. that. Now let's go uh, meet Wisp. Yeah, that was, that was an awesome trip to the museum. I want to talk to Isabel about a watering can, too. We got to go get our meow coupons anyway, so let's do that. We'll talk to Isabel again, and then we will go to Wisp. I do think donating things to the museum goes towards your approval rating anyway. 18 meow coupons. Let's just do citizen satisfaction. 
Uh, establish a committee, blah, blah, blah. Without further ado, here are the results. When it comes to letter writing and town building, I really think that consideration is key. Don't you think everyone in town could benefit from a little bit of good advice? Citizens also say they feel there isn't enough greenery and windfall. They want more plants in town. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Advice for living here. I can give you advice on making the most of your life here. After all, it's my job to make sure there isn't the windfall top notch, blah, blah, blah. I need to get really detailed and talk for long periods of time. It'd be hard to listen and go on and on. If you're in a hurry, hold down B. Talk faster. Let's see what other kind of advice would be good. Come to think of it, do you feel like you've gotten to know everyone in town? I bet our residents wish they could become better friends with you. Just walk around. Feel free to stop them. Have you ever written a letter before? Everyone in town loves letters. I do not want to write letters to people, but I will probably have to do that. So she gave me stationery, but she's not giving me a, a watering can. Don't write anything you wouldn't want others to see. Blah, 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 blah. Why not? Write a letter. Let's write one to Greta first. And let's say... Hey. Thanks for having have, having me over earlier. Your house will get better one day I'm sure good luck with that earning my respect thing Greta You have to do her tasks first, and then she then she gives you the sell sells you the watering can. Who else should we write to? Should we put this dress in there too? I'm never gonna like use it. Let's do that. We'll give Greta a gift. How about Mitzi? Oops. I've been telling everyone Oops. how underrated you That's all I gotta say. Oh, oops. I just want her to know. Who didn't show up on Welcome Day? It was Greta and Pee Wee. Hey. I missed. You on. Oh, I guess I'll go down here. Oops. Welcome day. Crap. Start. Let's go down. Packing. Perfect. Dear P. Ray, I hate for not showing up on Welcome Day. And then one more for Elmer. 
I just don't crap. Don't want this paper in my pockets anymore. Perfect. Writing letters is fun. Sweet. Pee Wee didn't pay tribute to the mayor. No. Yeah, Pee Wee. Pee Wee's gone. Now that we have the wisp lamp, it's over. Such a nice, benevolent mayor you are. <laughs> it's nice that you put so much thought into your letters. It's it's all about honing your disdain for others and and channeling it into into writing, into literature. Drop anything you want in the red box. Don't mind if I do. So you, this is how the letter mailing works. Look at that, and they'll just send it. What a bunch of maroons! They have no idea what I wrote, and they're like, "Sure, yeah, we'll just we'll just give your <laughs> your bullying, your snail mail snail mail bullying to others, free of charge." It's great. Um, okay, let's sell these fish bugs. And you want their approval? I'm entitled to their approval. I'm keeping this whole place together. They're so desperate for a mayor that the first person to ride a train in like years jumps off and they just like gaslight them into like, oh, you won the election. Like, yeah, I'm just visiting. <laughs> no, you live here now. Like, that's how bad things are here. I can put whatever I want in those letters. Only serious mares wear a top hat and <laughs> duck mouth. Um, perfect. Okay. Let's go meet Wisp. We got the lamp. Plop it down. And then I think we can invite an amiibo villager. I don't know who to invite. Stick that in the corner. Ta-da! So you've summoned me, but I don't believe we've met. I'm Wisp, the Lamp Spirit. Nice to meet you. So should we grant some wishes or what? Let's get into it. Wait, why am I all see-through like this? What's happening? Oh, I know, just the thing. If you have an amiibo, I could use it to sort of possess another person. It's not as awkward as it sounds, trust me. So if you have an Animal Crossing amiibo, tap it on the bottom of the screen now. Here we go. All right. Um, Who should I get? Okay, hold on. I have some amiibos. This is most of them. I don't know who to, who do we want to move here. Is that how it works? You can move people in from these, right? Oh my gosh, I have so many. Um, Blair. I don't know if I have Blair. I'll take other Pashmina. No, not Pashmina. I have a lot of cats. We could do like a cat thing. I have Tangy, Felicity. We already have Mitzi. We have Mo, Olivia, Punchy, Anka, 
Should we do the undoable and like get all cats? I'm gonna try tangy. Let's let's just start to accumulate some cats. We got punchy. I mean, we got to do it one at a time, of course. Okay. Um. Here we go. Thank you. I'm totally honored. You wanted me to be here. Are you so psyched right now? I sound like Tangier. What? Please don't be confused. I'm still wisped on on the inside. Uh, okay, and now we get down to business of granting your wishes. So, as a thank you for freeing me, I will grant you a single wish every day, no more. Really, it's a pretty standard genie contract. So, tell me, what is it you wish for? Alright, so we can choose either move here, give me something, or nothing right now. We're going to say move here. Very well. Now, to be clear, we are talking about the real Tangy, yes? I'll get in touch with your friend right away and communicate your request. Just between the two of us, Tangy is all set to move in soon. Keep it a secret. Well, I suppose it's back into the lamp for me then. Here, take these Mac coupons as a thank you. Yay! I forgot this is a great way to get Meow coupons. Sweet. So we gotta do that every day and then just try and get like all cats. That's exciting. Always cats. I have a bunch of cats. Let me see. Um, let me just, I'm going to separate the cats out so that like the next time we play, they're readily available. So we got Felicity, Mo, Olivia, Punchy, Anka. I think that's all my, I think I already had them kind of like together. So Mitzi already lives here. So we got to get, yeah, Anka and Mo, uh, Punchy. Olivia, Mo, Felicity, yeah. All cats. <laughs> Says the man wearing a duck bill. Okay, great. Um, cool. This game is such a good vibe. Do you guys know if when you invite a villager through an amiibo... Can you choose who leaves once your town is full, or do they just kind of like cycle them out? Because I've I've not played enough to know what happens with the amiibos. It's a crazy cat, man. I'll take it. All right. I'm preparing a raid for us. You can choose. Sweet. Those jerks who didn't greet me are as good as gone. Just wait. We're going to raid our friend Blaine, who is doing um, some Animal Crossing New Horizons. So when the stream ends, you will be taken over there. When you get over there, I want you all to say... Um, uh, well, uh, let me type something. Kara Lee, thank you so much. For eight months. Thank you. Um, wait, this isn't Dinkum. Go ahead. You can copy paste that. And when you get over there, just once, just when you get over to Blaine's chat. Moozle, thank you for joining the Bellionaires Club. Just in time for us to call it. <laughs> but thank you so much. Uh, appreciate it. So, yes, we will be doing a raid. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow, around this time, a little bit earlier. And we are going to be playing Dinkum. We've possibly started potentially the biggest Dinkum collab any group of creators has ever done. It might be a short-lived thing. We might all decide we hate it. Or it could last a really long time. So we'll see what happens. That's all I'm going to say. It's going to be a lot of fun. And it kicks off tomorrow. So join us for that. And uh, yeah, I'm going to send you guys over to uh, Blaine's stream now. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. And I will uh, see you over there.